Creating nice grooves with the built-in CV features of the Oxy One is one of the things that makes our sequencer stand out in the world of modular synthesis. It's really easy and fun. The sequence parameters affect the shape of the envelopes. It not only saves you some ADSR modules in your rack, but also makes the process straightforward. Setting up a nice groove in seconds is the best way to start a jam. We have a really simple setup starting from ONA, the oscillator for nano modules, the BCA, ALT, and FONT, which is the filter. Finally, the MFX is providing distortion. The OXY pipe is routing the CB signals from the OXY1 through the HDMI cable. The first CB out is going to the pitch input of the oscillator. The second CB out is going to both the CB input of the PCA and the frequency CB input of the filter. We have one modulation going to the resonant CB input of the filter and another modulation going to the CB input of the filter which controls the distortion amount. In the Oxy1, we have Sequencer1 set to mono mode, and now we have to assign the CV outputs accordingly. Go to the CV gate layout by pressing Shift and CV gate. And now we have to assign the CV1 to the pitch of Sequencer1, CV2 to the trigger envelope of Sequencer1, CV3 to the mode lane 1, and CV4 to modulation lane 2. Let's check that everything is working. Manually open the VCA, control the filter. Okay, we have sound. Now let's see what happens in the modulation lanes. Okay, the second one. Okay, perfect. So our modulation lanes work. And now let's try the pitch. Close the VCA. So what is the trigger envelope? The trigger envelope is an ASR envelope, which is affected by the sequence parameters. Amplitude is proportional to the velocity of the steps in the sequence, and the decay or release is proportional to the gate length of every step. The trigger envelope is triggered with every node, opening the VCA and the filter at the same time. Now let's go to the sequencer view. We are going to add a few steps and start messing around with the sequence parameters. We can use the random perform to add velocity randomness, which will affect the trigger envelope as well. So now we have a groove going, which is created by the velocity randomization and the different gate length on the last step. Okay, let's try a different sequence.
the velocity randomization can be positive or bipolar. Now let's add some glides. Hold the step. You will see the, the main step parameters. Press shift. You go to the step submenu. And here you can set the glide amount, trigger probability per trigger, and timing offset. So now, this time we are going to use the glide. We can control the glide amount from a short, pretty, pretty long glide. We can use a random generator to create a new sequence. Press shift and the random key. Here we can set the random, the randomizer settings. And to apply, to generate a new sequence, press any of the encoders. You can see the random generator always comes up with good ideas. The steps are quantized to the scale, so we can change the scale to get a different feeling. I like this one, so I'm going to save it. We can change the attack of the trigger envelope in the CV gate layout, and we can even assign a modulation to the attack. Let's first try changing the attack manually. We can modulate the attack with the LFO1, for example. So let's try it. Now I go to the LFO page. And now we start hearing how the attack of the ADSR envelope changes over time. Lastly, we have the sustain amount which is handy when we want to draw long notes. Let's add some extra variation to our sequencer using the modulation lanes. Remember, this modulation lane controls the resonance of the filter and the second one controls the distortion amount.
Another way to change the velocity or the gate of the steps of the sequence is using the velocity or gate view. You can go to the velocity view by tapping the encoder. And now you can change the velocity using the grid buttons. Thank you. 